Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel again. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. A thumbs up or a comment below would be appreciated. Hope you like the Jays in the background. Have a bit of Love Street on as well. But let's talk about three players today. Two potential incomings and one confirmed outgoing. So let's kick it off. I've been talking about this Montenegro left winger, Sayad Hakasbanovic, for the last couple of days. Now, Mr. Anthony of Sky Sports broke the story last night that Celtic and Ruben Gazan have agreed a fee. It's meant to be 1.7 million. He's six foot two. He's a left winger, and he's been capped for Montenegro 30 times. He had a move to West Ham back in 2017 when he snubbed Celtic, and that never worked out for him. He played one FA Cup competitive game, a couple of EFL games, and that was really it. Nothing really else escalated with his move to West Ham, went on loan to the Swedish League, a club in Sweden, bought him, and then he was sold to Rupert Kazan for nearly over six nearly six million. So obviously what's going on with the Russian league is basically like a bargain basement because they can't compete in UEFA and FIFA competitions. It looks like you can buy, go out there and get someone for a, a good gem. So reportedly his one of his previous coaches said that he is a gem, he's irreplaceable which is strong words to say, but he can play left wing, right wing, attacking midfielder, and he has played defensive midfield eight times in his career as well, just to establish that. So looking at this potential move to Celtic, yesterday I was ifs and buts about it, and there was a few people that corrected me, like, why are you judging? Why do you always judge people and you have me kick the ball for Celtic? Because I'm a fan, just like you. I'm a title opinion. Just like you, if I don't feel by looking at YouTube videos and looking at stats about a player, I'm not going to get bigged up about it. I'm not going to be like, oh, Jesus, he's going he's gonna to be shooting or he's going to be great. You know, you just have to see action speak loud and words. If he does come, I wish him the very best. I hope he bangs in goals for us. I hope he provides assists and hope he gives the likes of Jota and the likes of Maeda more competition. We can only deal with what we have in front of us, like the likes of Ross County and Camara. We want our players to get stronger, physically better, and we can sell them on for big bucks. I don't know why Celtic are getting this guy, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's the case that they're looking into the future, like, oh, we can sell about it, or we can sell Jota in the future for big cash. I know obviously Jota's at the coming this summer, but Celtic are the selling club, and if they're going to bring players in to cover them positions and give, Ange wants to give these players competition and there's players on the bench that are eager that's going to st step up to the play and score for us sure right we seen it the other day Starfeld scoring for us he's forced off for the club Yakimak is coming off the bench and scoring so let's see what happens with this um, regards to the North Macedonian defensive midfielder Yanni Stalov 22 years of age just over 6 4 he's currently playing for Haji Split in Croatia and he had a stint in to, at Turkish side, but a spar as well, which he played there between 2018 up to 2020. Reportedly, we're looking at a fee of him for 1.3 million. Now, this is not concrete, this link. There's been no official reports, but these have been twerking all over Celtic pages like Magic City and a Ludicrous video. It's literally, these, these reports are coming out everywhere. And there's no concrete report that... We're going in for this guy from North Macedonia. He's only been capped for his country once so far with Pandev. Pandev, what a man that played for Inter Milan. So um, once I have more information, concrete information about that, I'll start talking about this guy more. Yes, of course we need a defensive midfielder. We need to get we need to get people in there. I know some people in the channel have been saying Idiguchi will come good. Some people have hopes that McCarthy will come good. Some people have hopes that Aaron Moy will come good. We could all hope and wish these players can come good but well let's see how it all develops and i hope we do get enough visit cover in that defensive midfielder position because i've said it many times on this channel as much as i love david tumble matt o'reilly and rio atate i would like to see our skipper push up and get goals like the way he used them i know he has a vital part to be that captain and hold the fort and he can still do that by being an attacking midfielder which he's demonstrated many times for Celtic. So let's see what happens with regards to the defensive midfield position. A player that has gone out alone to championship side, Scottish Championship side, Queen's Park, which is only over at Hamden, 
is Johnny Kenny, 19-year-old striker from Sligo that we, we bought in the January transfer window. I wish him the very best. I hope this, this is a season-long loan move. He'll develop his, his experience in the Scottish leagues and hopefully we could see him helping Queen's Park get promoted as well. You know, have a small thing for Queen's Park, even though the word Queen and Park, it doesn't really go with me. But I went in there with one of my mates back in March and the the staff are fantastic. We had a laugh with the receptions and stuff like that. So um, I hope Johnny Kenny benefits from this. You've seen the likes of Luca Connell going there and playing well. And then Luca Connell's now gone down to the English tier. So um, that's really it for me. No more bullshit, no more excuses. It is what it is. Let me know what the, the microphone's like and the camera as well. Hell, hell. Speak to us all soon. Hell, hell.